What is up guys? Welcome back to a random reaction and today we're watching the top 10 scariest British criminals. I'm excited. So, I don't know why you're so excited for criminals. I love true crime. Yeah, well, these are the top 10 scariest, so. Okay, I'm sure we'll figure out why they're the scariest, but before we go into it, why do you think they're the scariest? I don't know. Murder? Yeah. Murder? Scary, scary stuff, <laughs> scary people. We're back to get into it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, drop a like for more reactions like this. Other than that, let's get into it. Suzanne Blamers was shot through the head. <laughs> He actually made a triumphant right. gesture at the camera after he killed her. Fred Jesus. and Rosemary West. Between them, the West raped, tortured, murdered, and dismembered 12 women, including two of their own daughters. Good Lord. Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dallitzing. Landon, why are you screaming right now? Landon chill is the, yelling. Chill the hell out. Calm down, Landon. That's my dang eardrum. And today we actually have a special guest here from our sister channel, Top 5 Scary Videos. So today we have Jack. Whoa, <laughs> Jack. What's going on, guys? You may recognize me from over at Top 5 Scary Videos, the scariest channel on YouTube. My, ad. my name's Jack Finch, and as always, it's an absolute pleasure to be chilling with you guys over at Most Amazing Top 10. You know and this. you know what? Top 5 Scary uh, Videos, your channel, is getting more subscribers than we are right now. What's Whoa. going on, guys? <laughs> you guys yeah. are killing it over there. It's the t-shirts, I think. Is, you think so? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you guys should check it out. You guys can click right over here. But let's get right into this one. So today we're going to be talking about some of Britain's most dangerous and hideous criminals that have shocked the nation. So this is the top 10 scariest British criminals, and that's why we have Jack <laughs> to, to help us I'm out. The with I'm on number 10. You're the criminal, yeah. <laughs> so at number 10, we have Jack. Landon, be careful. <laughs> right. Coming in at number 10, Charles Bronson, probably the most notorious British prisoner of all time, and a yeah. very apt entry to kick off this list. Bronson is so infamous in the British criminal world that he's even been portrayed on the silver screen by the one and the only Tom Hardy. Born Michael Gordon Peterson on the sixth of December 1952, he later changed his name to Charles Bronson after the famous American actor. While he was fighting in the British underground bare knuckle boxing scene, Bronson has been referred to in the British press as the most violent prisoner in Britain and has spent the majority of his life behind bars after initially being sentenced for armed robbery in 1974. Although Jeez. he's been released several times, Bronson has always ended up back behind bars and was given a discretionary life sentence in 1999. Despite this, in in recent years, Charles Bronson has changed his name to Charles Salvador. He and just looks like a criminal. Like, he look really at him. Like, he just like, there's no, nothing else for that man to ever do in his life but it's to like be. like he popped LSD. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you gotta be, there's something wrong with you wearing those glasses. Right. <laughs> to taking up life as an artist and reportedly turning over a new leaf. He has pleaded his reform on numerous occasions, stating that Charles Bronson died in 2014 and that he leads a new life as Charles Salvador, hoping to be released in 2020. Harold Trippman makes its way. Did he get, Did he get out? out? Did he get out? Y'all let us know. That's. Oh, wow. Way onto this list at number nine. He is the type of guy who will make you never trust your doctor again, and here's why. He was a British general practitioner and a serial killer who murdered at least 215 of his patients. He looks like such a nice man. Um, he killed 215 patients. I know, patients. but he looks like such a nice he do, man. He does look like somebody you trust, so like, you know. That's scary. Yeah. His favorite method of killing his victims was to inject them with a lethal dose of drugs. Originally, he was only convicted of 15 murders, but after an official investigation was done, it was determined that he had killed hundreds of other people That's between insane. the years of 1975 and 1998. He was convicted Dang. in January of 20 2000, years. and he was sentenced to life in prison, but he was found hanging in his cell four years after his trial. Could wow. he be any more ironic? I bet he killed more than he saved as a doctor. Just so messed wow. up. Coming in I number. mean, 200 patients over like two, 20 years? Wow. That is crazy. A Ronnie and Reggie Cray. Strangely enough, another set of British criminals that Tom Hardy has played on the silver screen, <laughs> this time twice. The names Tom Hardy love him some. Scary British criminal, <laughs> right, don't yeah. Ronnie and Reggie Cray are synonymous with the British underworld and London gangland, and you probably won't find anyone in Britain who hasn't heard of these pair. They were notorious for being the perpetrators of organised crime in the East End of London during the 1950s and 1960s. Along they look like they are the mob. Yeah, yeah. Like, they look that, like they just Like, it's a good mob. thing Tom Hardy did a movie, because, like, they look like they should be a movie. Like, they do, <laughs> They're yeah. just the brothers. 
alongside their gang known originally as The Firm, which led them to be involved in such nefarious activities as murder, armed robbery, hijacking, arson, protection racketeering and countless assaults. The Jesus. Cray twins were born on the 24th of October 1933, just 10 minutes apart, to parents Charles David Cray and Violet Annie Lee, and lived a life of such prolific notoriety that they were cemented into British culture as two of the most dangerous brothers to have ever lived. Damn. Fred and Rose West hacked their way onto number 7 on our list. They were a married couple who abducted, tortured, sexually abused and murdered women over a period of 20 years. Their killing Jeez. spree also included some of their own children. Their house wow. on Cromwell Street contained an awful secret. Their basement was set up as a torture chamber and a graveyard. The basement was also equipped with bondage and torture devices and they had the ability to hang their victims from the wall and ceiling. Together, Imagine that's just your neighbor. Like imagine being that person's neighbor. Like you just go out, see them getting their mail and stuff, wave at them. Little do you know they have a torture chamber in their basement. In a graveyard, he said. Yeah. It's a torture chamber. And they're the killing graveyard. people. Like, it could literally just be anybody. You don't know. That's crazy. They might have killed around 30 women, but they were only charged with 12 murders. Wow. Fred West committed suicide before his trial started, and West is currently serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Good. Next up at number six, Peter Sutcliffe. Also known as the Yorkshire Ripper, Peter Sutcliffe terrorized the British nation between 1975 and 1980, horrifying the public. Why are there so many murderers in the 1970s? Like, every single one of these have started in like 1970 something. Now, I will say over here, some people say it's because in the 1970s, if somebody knocked on your door, you just answered the door. True. Yeah, it was a lot more, I guess, like, trustworthy time. Right. You just, like, like having, like, the guy, like, the milkman bring you milk to your door and right. stuff like that, like, yeah, that is Now true. somebody knocks on the door and I turn off all the lights and hide. Yeah, and, like, you always make sure your doors are locked and stuff, and, like, back then, you they just didn't, really didn't lock that. your door. Yeah. That is true. That's, it was just a different time period. Yeah. The very specific conditions. Why does that Loki look like my dad? It looked like a younger yeah. version of my dad. I might need to ask old Sean what he's been. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was he was born in like the seventies. <laughs> that his crimes contained. In 1981, he was convicted of murdering 13 women and suspected of the attempted murder of seven more. Jesus. Wow. Cliff, who lived in the Yorkshire area of Leeds and Bradford, was believed to regularly use the services of prostitutes and claimed that the voice of God had sent him on a mission to kill these women. The nation was shocked when his modus operandi would later change and he began killing women who weren't prostitutes, which inevitably sent the Yorkshire public into a panic. He was initially arrested for driving with false number plates when police questioned him about the killings on a chance encounter and he confessed to being the perpetrator. Sutcliffe would later plead insanity but his claim was later rejected and he was sentenced to life imprisonment where he remains to this day. Damn. Next up on this creepy list in at number five we have Amelia Dyer. She was originally familiar. trained as a nurse, but she eventually switched her career path and decided to take a stab at baby farming. This was a practice of adopting what? unwanted babies in exchange for money. She would prey on mothers who couldn't afford to keep their babies, so she would offer to give them a better life, but instead, she pocketed the money and strangled the baby to death with tape and dumped their bodies in the river tank. She was That's a real thing, first of all. Huh? That's a real thing that happened? Jeez. Listen, we're, we live in Kentucky. We've heard all of all kinds of different farming. You know, right. you got beans, you got corn, you got wheat, you got all kinds of different Tobacco. farming. But babies? Never heard of that. Baby farming? Cheese and rice. I've never heard of that. That so is So she, she'd be like, I'll, I'll take your baby since you can't afford it or whatever. And I will give it, make sure it grows up and it has a good life. Just give me a little bit of money. Here you go. Thank you so much, woman. No problem. No, tape. Tossed it in the freaking river. Tape. What the heck? How do you strangle it with tape? That's ridiculous. I don't know able to get away with these horrific murders for over 30 years until she was caught and hung for her crimes. Good. But she managed to murder at least 400 babies during Whoa. her murder. Whoa. Whoa. And that's number five? Did you hear that? Not four. Not 14. Not 40. 400. 400. That's ridiculous. crazy. It's ridiculous. Amelia. Cheese and rice. I'm glad she was hung. Yeah. If anybody's ever deserved to be hung, it's that woman right there. Yep. 
murdering spree in the 1800s. Okay, biting his way onto this list at number four, we have Stephen Griffins. He is notoriously known as the crossbow cannibal, and his story almost sounds too crazy to be real. But trust me, it is. Even, cra even crazier than Amelia's? Why? Right. I mean, <laughs> that, that one was That's ridiculous. Wild time included murdering women with a crossbow and then eating their body parts. He actually turned his bathroom into a slaughterhouse where he would dismember his victims in the bathtub with power tools and then he would start to eat his favorite body parts in which I don't know what they are and I'm just not going to question So he was that. like, he was Britain's Jeffrey Dahmer. I was about to say that. Like, because that's pretty much exactly what Jeff Dahmer did. He, yeah. But except it was men, not and women. He looks like he's kind of old enough to be in that era of... Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, that's crazy. So this guy actually took their body parts and stored them in the fridge until he got Jeffrey hungry Dahmer. and then he would start cooking them in the oven. He was actually diagnosed as a very violent psychopath at the age of 17 years old, but despite all of these warning signs and red flags, he managed to kill three women and now he's currently serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. And coming in at number yeah, three, like if Dennis. He started doing that after Jeffrey Dahmer was a thing. He definitely got it from Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, for sure. Because like that's, li that's the exact thing Jeffrey Dahmer did, except it was men. Nielsen, and we're about to head down the hole of one of the most gruesome serial killers in British history. Dennis Nielsen, a Scottish serial killer and necrophile who murdered at least 12 young men, more than likely more, in a series of brutal and deranged killings committed between 1978 and 1983, all of which took place at several of his residences in London, England. Nielsen's modus operandi often targeted young, homeless, homosexual men, which he lured to his two North London addresses through guile and deception, often plying them with alcohol and then murdering them by strangulation. He kept the bodies beneath his floorboards, sometimes for periods as long as eight months, and would then observe the bodies in a strange, twisted ritual. He would dispose of the remains after dissecting them by either burning them on a bonfire or flushing them down a toilet. His crimes were discovered when a plumber eventually discovered the remains of bones and flesh blocking the pipes of his shared flat. And <laughs> hey man, I, uh, I took a dump in here. This thing ain't going down. I don't right. know what it is. Well, is there anything clogging it? Yeah, it looks like a nose and then maybe a foot. <laughs> right. That might be a femur. I don't know. <laughs> like, God. He was sentenced to life in prison where he died in 2018 at the age of 72. And how do we do a list like this and not talk about this next guy? Well, Jack the Ripper brings us to number two. Right. Jack the Ripper is one of England's and the world's most infamous murderers because he was never captured and his identity remains unknown. He terrorized the White That's Chapel crazy. District of London in 1888 where he brutally murdered and mutilated at least five prostitutes. In each of his murders, the victim's throats would be slashed and the body would be severally mutilated, which indicated that that he had some kind of knowledge about the human anatomy. Despite several investigations, the police had hundreds of suspects, but they weren't able to definitely arrest anyone. So even till this day, Jack the Ripper's identity and motive remains to be one of the biggest mysteries. All right, question for this guy right here. I'm pretty Jack. sure like more evidence came out not that long ago about it too. Like I, I think there might be a TV show or something that like somebody uncovered more evidence. Y'all let us know down in the comments, but like, they don't know, they still don't know who it is, but there was something that was kind of like, it low-key might be this guy. Sometimes whenever people are on like their deathbed and they know that they're going to die, they'll like tell you all of their secrets. Mm -hmm. And could you imagine being the person that's like the nurse that's taking care of this person and he's like, I'm Jack the he's Ripper. Like, oh, and gosh. then just <laughs> And then just die. <laughs> oh. I that would mean, know what to do with that myself with that kind of information. Because there's been people that have been on their deathbeds that nurses have said, uh, they just like, there was a to lady. Him? There was a lady that was on her deathbed, and she looked at her nurse and said, "I've killed twelve people." <laughs> that might and have been she Jack. was like, "Huh? Jeez. You did what?" And she was like, "There's no way." And she said, "Yeah, I'll tell you how I did it." She said, "Please don't." Yeah, just go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and just end it. Okay. Yeah, please don't. Jeez. Back the what's your last name? Finch. Finch. Okay. Do you do you know the anatomy? It's not the Ripper. No. <laughs> do you know uh, how good are you with human anatomy? Very poor. Okay, good. So you're not Jack the Ripper? I'm glad I'm not Jack the Ripper.
<laughs> and to finally end this gruesome list, we have one of Britain's first recorded female serial killers, Mary Ann Cotton. Known as the Black Widow, Cotton is reported to have murdered around uh. 21 people, including three of her own husbands, apparently in order to collect on their insurance policies, yeah. which she would use to establish a new life, and even more horrifically, she was responsible for the death of 11 of her 13 children. Born Mary Ann Robson on the 31st Jeez. of October 1832, yes, that is Halloween, in County Durham, England, Cotton's modus operandi was to use arsenic poisoning, learned from her time as a nurse, that would slowly cause gastric pain in her victims and ensure a rapid decline. Did Bailey Syrian do an yes. episode? Yeah, that's, yes. that's where I heard this before. We, if y'all know who Bailey Syrian is, she's a YouTuber and like, I love her. We, we watch her videos like every single day. Like that's what we watch to go to sleep. It's Loki like, it's kind of bad. Like. That makes me question us because we go to sleep to <laughs> stories of serial killers, but we go to sleep to stories like this. Yeah. But I'm gonna be honest with you. So far, there's only been one that I've been like, oh wow. And that was the babies. The babies. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's. I'm surprised that one was like, what was it, number five? Number five yeah. How was like 400 babies? Yeah. But I think the thing is, is it was so long ago. ago yeah. It's hard to like really like justify putting it higher on the yeah, list. Yeah, and like. Who knows? People could lie right. and like mix up the stories from how it actually was. It could have just been four babies or something, but yeah. Of health. Now, this process was mostly undetectable until it appeared that almost everyone Mary Ann Cotton knew started to die around her. Mm -hmm. It kind of raised a few red flags. She was trialed and sentenced to death by hanging on the 24th of March, 1873, where she died on the gallows, not by her neck breaking, but by strangulation caused by the rope being rigged too short. Many believe you know that, that that's happened a lot throughout history. Like, that's a that's kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm starting to think like maybe they like did it on purpose, especially for like some like the work, the badder people. They're like, yeah, let's let them just dangle there for a right. minute. <laughs> they kind of deserve it. Action was deliberate. Gnarly stuff. Gnarly video. All right, so this is the end of the video. It's glad to know. You hey, those are pretty bad. Are you Jack? Are you Jack the Ripper? I might be. That's my business. She says. Say no. I'm Margaret the puppy. <laughs> Margaret Louise. But alright guys, that is going to do it for the top 10 scariest British criminals. If you want to see more reactions like this, let us know by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. JT. And Anna. And we out. Bye. Peace.